Welcome everyone to Cassandra Ford. I'm Patrick McFadden, Apache Cassandra Committer and longtime community member. If you're new to this community, welcome. If you've been around a while, welcome back. We are a truly global community. And that's great because anywhere you go in the world, you can find other Cassandra people. If you look at the registration data, it looks like there is no hotspot. And that's exactly what we want for a community. It's not all just North America or Europe, it's everywhere. And that's great. We're also seeing a lot of growth in Africa right now. So if you're from Kenya, Zimbabwe, Cameroon, Nigeria, welcome. We love to have you in our community. So what's happening today? Consider this your Cassandra roadmap update. Cassandra's been around a while and it's pretty established. You probably use it every single day. Maybe you don't even know it. And if you use it like as a part of your job, then of course you use it. But when you're using an application or a website, you're probably using Cassandra somewhere in that stack. That's pretty cool. So as a project, we're not gonna just sit back and declare a code complete. Say, okay, we built a database and it's awesome. Moving on. Oh, no, 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 no. We asked ourselves a long time ago, what do we do with a database that is highly performant in the largest use cases? Scales well beyond anything else. I mean, look around, Cassandra is it when it comes to scale. There is nothing bigger. And truly active, active replication around the world. That is a hard problem. And Cassandra solves it so well. And no other database has quite done it the way that Cassandra does it. And that's a pretty unique feature. And finally, one of the most important things, it's a truly open source database that's Apache licensed. Free as in beer, free as in freedom. You can do whatever you want with it. It's not just free on my laptop until I put it into production and then I got to pay a license or I can only use it in certain use cases. Oh no, you can do whatever you want with it. And that's great. So what do we do with the database like this? We take it to the next level. We move forward, of course. When I started using Cassandra quite a few years ago, it was the database of the future. It was a lot of early adopters who were willing to put in the time to figure it out. That made it difficult for some people to use it, actually a lot of people to use it. But this is progress, right? We want this to be a database for everyone. We want Cassandra to manage the hard things so you can go do the things that you need to do with your code, building applications that actually do things and not have to worry about the database. I had a professor who used to say this a lot to me and I love it. Progress in technology is when we have the ability to be more lazy. So great progress with Cassandra is when you can be super lazy about your database. So what do we get out of this? Cassandra for all. It's time. Everyone should be able to use this database without any hassle. A database that does what you need with few trade-offs. Because who wants trade-offs? You just want to build your code and move on. A database that is quick and easy to use on one hand, but doesn't create a ton of tech debt on the other hand. And there are some databases out there that do that. I'm not naming names, but you know who you are. I've said it before. This should be the database that your kids use in the future. And to do that, we got to build it. And where does that get built? Open source. This is the place where it can happen. Engineers are solving problems and sharing it in code. And where do these engineers work? All over the place, not just one company. Companies like Bloomberg, Uber, Netflix, Apple, Datastacks. Engineers that are trying to solve that next thing because you know how it goes, things always change. But these are all companies solving tech problems for themselves and sharing it, hence the open source. This is where it has to happen. And that's where it is happening. And why we are a community of practitioners. We're all building similar things and going in the same direction. And that makes a really cool community because we're all on the same page. We all have the same kind of problems and we're solving it together. That makes an awesome community. So today we're gonna see what's next. What is out there in the future for Cassandra? What problems those engineers are actually solving? The ones that I just talked about that are solving real problems, what are they solving? I think you'll be happy about that. And what about the ecosystem around Cassandra? Data is about friends. Not one product does everything. And you have to deploy things in teams. And so when we look at the ecosystem around Cassandra, Cassandra has some really great friends. So let's talk about that that ecosystem of friends that make your applications so much cooler. And finally, what are those leading edge use cases that are emerging for Cassandra? Think about that. We solved problems years ago, 
that aren't the problems that we have today, but the database is still relevant for all those problems and new ones that are coming. Afterward, head on over to the community mixer for some live Q&A, some quizzes, some prizes. That's where I'm going to be. This will all be done on Zoom, and that Zoom link should be in the chat. And if you love this content, how about two days of it? That's the Cassandra Summit in December. Sign up today for the Cassandra Summit and show up in person in San Jose, and you will be amazed. There is so much we can share together, and I hope to see you there. Sit back, relax, and enjoy two hours of awesome Cassandra content. And thanks for joining us here at Cassandra Forward. Oh, wait, one more thing. So some of you might remember back in the day, there was this website called Planet Cassandra. Well, it's back. We're gonna bring it back as an awesome community resource for Cassandra users. PlanetCassandra.org. So when you're there, see if there's anything you can help us with. Because as a community, we love our sharing and help us build this together. Sharing is a very important part of our community, and we hope that you do that too. Okay, now we can get to Cassandra Ford. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs>